Hi, this is Arnav. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about yet another parody hack which has taken place yesterday and so understand what will be the implications of this hack on the parity company and on Ethereum network and blockchains in general. So yeah, let's get down to understanding that. So what has happened is that a hacker actually figured out um, that a way to become make himself the owner of the parity uh, library contract, multi-sig contract and as a result he actually accidentally or maybe purposely deleted that and all the other contracts which are built on top of the parity contract also uh, got deleted. Um, so that is what has happened and if uh, as you can see on the screen we are going through the company statement released by parity on paritytech.io and so <clears throat> they are saying that, um, that all the multi-sig contracts they they are compromised and uh, so what actually happened was that he, a person was able to make the parity wallet library contract into a regular multi-sig wallet and become an owner of the init by calling the init wallet function so this is actually very similar to the hack which occurred before on uh, 19th of july on parity multi-sig uh, contract um, and i actually studied the code behind that and uh, what was the actually bug which enabled a person to become the owner so and it is it seems that it is actually very similar to this that that hack and uh, in that hack what happened was that a person a hacker actually figured out a way to make himself the owner of the parity uh, contract um, and because he was able to call the init wallet function and he was able to initialize the owner again and make himself the owner and so what happened was he was able to call um, so all the smart all the contracts which were multi-sig wallet contracts which used the parity contract uh, to build their code uh, <clears throat> uh, he actually uh, just transferred the ether stored inside them to addresses which were owned by him and as a result he was able to hack around 30 million dollars of uh, worth of ether and but the thing was at that time around 120 million or something dollar worth of ether were actually saved by white hackers white hat hackers but in this case what has happened are, has that the person has actually killed off the parity wallet contract so all the contracts which were actually built on top which were using the parity wallet contract and were built on top of it which is the parity wallet contract these are the wallets that were built on top of it uh, have are being now have been now compromised as well so this will have serious implications and as we can see that all dependent multi-sig wallet contracts deployed after 20th july are now look at which look like this um, and they currently no ho, ho, no funds uh, and no funds can be moved out of those wallets so say and um, and the number is estimated around 300 million dollars so those smart contracts were holding around 300 million dollar worth of ether and around i think 100 million dollars belong to uh, parity the uh, which what's the name of the uh, 100 million actually belong to uh, the by a, a ICO for, for done by Ethereum founder co-founder Gavin Wood um, and I don't know the name of that but uh, yeah it was 100 million dollar was for that and to in in total around 300 300 million dollar worth of ether are have been gone because what happens is that smart contracts are just like humans in the blockchain of Ethereum and they can hold ether so people in this case what has happened as is that the smart contracts have been deleted all that information inside them that who holds those ethers and who who are the addresses ether addresses uh, that the ether which is collected belong to are now deleted so everything is gone now and uh, and as is the case with blockchain that once something is done it's done so that is the thing with here and uh, so the per this was actually the original discussion which took place on uh, the Bitcoin network and uh, on the GitHub, on sorry, on the GitHub channel of the Parity uh, repo. And so the, this is the guy DevOps199. I'm sure he's going to be hell of a lot famous right now. And uh, he said that he actually dis deleted that and people were asking questions like how can you delete that, delete the contract? Uh, because you're not the owner <clears throat> and so he gave an explanation that he he was not the owner but he was able to make himself the owner of that contract and as a result he was um, and even posted the link of all the multi-sig wallets that he found were dependent on the parity wallet and uh, he made himself the owner and now when he actually tries to run this method uh, I, I is owner um, any address on those contracts which are dependent on the parity co wallet contract um, they all return true because 
they uh, point to a contract which is which has now died down so this was actually the discussion that took place and these are actually the links of um, some some links which has he has posted um, so these are actually some links around I think um, 77 or so um, yeah so these were actually some ICOs or some other companies who were using multisig wallets so basically a multisig wallet enables uh, means that one has to sign sign two transactions two or more people have to sign a transaction uh, for it to be made final and unlike the case of a bitcoin so in bitcoin i usually sign a transaction with my own private key and if the transaction is not broadcasted to the network but in a multi-sig wallet transactions have to be signed by multi people that is two or more people and uh, many people actually use parity solution for that so it has big implications on the future of parity as well um, and uh, I don't think so that uh, so people are saying how can they help people retrieve the money back so they, if say around 300 million dollar right now has been reported but say if the number goes up that actually many more wallets were dependent on parity so the number might be at around say a billion or dollars so will what will Ethereum do or will 1 billion dollar just vanish in thin air and all the people's value just vanish out um, or the I think the only solution to this problem right now is doing in hard fork so uh, Ethereum network and hard fork so in the hard fork what will happen is that it will be as if that uh, this thing this uh, deletion of the parity smart contract never happened and the blockchain will start from uh, the time before that and uh, this blockchain will become redundant or maybe some miners uh, will support it but the main blockchain will shift down so I don't think so actually that's that gonna happen because right now Ethereum is really big it has uh, around 30 billion dollar in value and even a 1 billion dollar is not it's like 3% or something 3.3% it's not that much and I don't think so that people the Ethereum team will take this risk of doing a hard fork again and uh, because the previous hard fork after the DAO attack also resulted in a lot of bad reputation for Ethereum and uh, don't many people actually point that reason to shifting from Ethereum to other cryptocurrencies or other blockchain solutions so I don't think so that this is going to happen but um, and but I don't see a solution uh, being implemented by the parity tech team as well so I think my opinion is that this money is not gone um, yeah so this is a big day actually in Ethereum's history and uh, we'll see what happens after that I might post some future videos as well so stay tuned um, I, I talk about Bitcoin I talk about blockchain I talk about Ethereum and uh, I might even go into the business use cases of blockchain like in supply chain and identity management or in the uh, use cases of uh, uh, Ethereum solution as well and in the development side of things on Solidity, on Hyperledger, on Tendermint, etc. So yeah, stay tuned to the channel for further videos and I uh, hope you learned something. Uh, please like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel and comment and share as well. Okay, bye.